Hi there, Sandra here and welcome to another gouache brand review. For today's video, I'm going to review Dale Rovne designer gouache and I will tell you my personal experience using this paint. Dale Rovne also has a Quafine and Simply gouache series, but in this video, I'm gonna try their professional designer gouache. So let's get started. First of all, as I like to start my reviews, before I share my personal experience and tell you more about its quality, here are some informations about this paint. Dale Rovne gouache is made in England and on their tubes we can find information such as color name, series numbers and permanence, which is the light fastness. But strangely, on their tubes they don't label the degrees of opacity or transparency of their colors and the pigment used but the complete information can be found over Dale Rovne website, which I will leave the link to the website in the description of this video so you can check it out. Dale Rovne has colors between series 1 and 3 or also described with letters from A to C, but aside from few colors, most of them are from series 1, so price-wise there isn't much of a difference. If you want to know more in details about price differences in series numbers, I highly recommend to check my whole bean gouache review that I recently published on my channel where I explained in more details about this topic. I really like the design of these tubes and I like when gouache comes in metal tubes that feels better quality, but I cannot overlook that half of the label is printed on the tube while the color name with the informations is printed on a sticker and attached to the tube. Usually the label is all printed on the tube, but I mean, this doesn't affect the quality in any way, but I'm simply surprised to see this choice. Well, from the production point of view, in producing individual tubes, I think I can understand this choice and I'm thinking about pros and cons but I'm not gonna dive into this topic because it's not relevant to the paint's quality, but the sticker just looks less professional for me. And as I find Dale Rovne gouache to be pretty good, I think it would fit very well to their brand if they would have the label printed on the tubes only. But this is just a random thought that is not relevant to the actual quality of this gouache. Regarding their quality, the consistency is enjoyable to work with, but from the colors I bought at least, each color has a different consistency, like for example the opaque oxidi of chromium, the green color, which <laughs> it really has a long name, <laughs> it has a thicker density than the other colors that is almost too hard to squeeze the paint out of the tube, while the others are fine. But this is a common thing among gouache brands, that they have different consistency depending on the color itself and for different reasons. I also want to mention that it's also quite common for the color swatch on the tubes or on the color chart that doesn't match the actual color inside. And it's the same case for Dale Rovne. At this point, over these years, I collected many gouache colors so I'm pretty familiar how most colors look like without relying on the color swatches on the tubes, but there are still colors that have unique names that I can only see how they really look like once I swatch the colors in person. But here for a couple of colors that I bought, at least, is pretty different. Like for example, I was expecting a Bordeaux for maroon, but it's like a magenta, and same for the green color, I expected it to be darker, like the color swatch on the tubes. It's my first time buying these colors names in the specific and that's why I bought them as I was curious to see how they looked like, but my point is, always remember that the color swatches on the color chart or on the tubes might not be 100% accurate to the actual color inside the tube. So the impression I had in mind before buying this paint from what I could see online and based on the informations about this paint, 
I was expecting Dale Rovne to have a similar quality to Royal Talent's extra fine quality gouache and Winsor & Newton designer gouache. As these three are about on the same price range among gouache brands from where I live at least, but especially they are artist quality, meaning they have good quality paint, suitable for artist use. But maybe in some way, I was expecting Dale Rovne to be more a student quality paint, so a bit lower compared to artist quality, but I was pleased to see that I was wrong, and I really enjoyed using this paint once I actually started painting this piece. Because I have to say that the overall impression that this color gave me, when I swatch them, they don't seem to be the brightest colors, especially when applied on the paper and they are still wet. And my camera might not show how these colors really look like, so you just have to trust my words and what I see. Maybe it's only these colors that I bought in the specific, but I have to say that once they dry out, they don't look as dark as I thought they would be. During this painting, you will see that I ended up covering few parts multiple times from one side to test this paint by overlaying more layers and the end result turned out nice but also because, to be honest, I didn't apply the paint very evenly at the first application especially for the head of the duck and it didn't look nice so my tip when this happens, if you repaint the wall area again with a new coat of paint this usually helps to smooth everything out and it also helps to achieve a more flat and opaque finish. But I don't recommend to overwork the surface because as you know, gouache being a water-based medium can be reactivated with water once dry, so I recommend to not overlay too many layers of paint or it can ruin the end result. So aside from the unbrightness of these colors, if I can put it in this way, Overall, I find Dale Rovne designer gouache to be pretty good quality actually, and I'm pleased with the end result and the experience I had with this paint. These colors have a great covering power, and it's something I really like about gouache designer series that are opaque, where you can achieve a nice flat and opaque finish. And I think Dale Rovne designer gouache can be a good starter set to be introduced to gouache that will give you the right learning experience. However, I would say that these colors can easily get darkened and muddy when mixed if you're not careful, so maybe the advice I would give if you would be interested to buy this paint and in the case you aren't too familiar with color mixing yet, maybe I would get colors made with only one pigment as these should help from mudding colors too much when mixed. But otherwise, they work just fine. Both used thin and thick, so both used more transparent and more opaque. Personally, I like to use a mix of different brands. Royal Talents Extra Fine Quality and Winsor & Newton Designers are some of my favorite gouache brands that I use all the time, but each brand has its own features with different strengths and flaws that I won't go in details and explain the differences between them right now, but if I were to make a comparison between them and Dale Rovne in terms of performance and quality overall, they are similar and I enjoy working with them equally, so I think it's fair to consider Dale Rovne designer gouache to be artist quality. Well, I still have to get more familiar with Dale Rovne after this video, it's just a shame that these colors don't seem to be the brightest, but I can totally see myself using this paint more for my works in the future, as when I was painting with this paint, it was a very enjoyable experience for me, and it feels similar like when I paint with Royal Talents and Winsor & Newton gouache. So yeah, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and hearing about my personal experience using this paint and I hope you found it helpful. Recently I bought a lot of gouache brands to try out, so I plan to share more gouache video reviews before the end of this year. 
And speaking of which, next review coming up is Himi Mia Gouache. So definitely look forward to it, which I'm also very excited to share the video with you. If you are new here on my channel, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I share a lot of videos about gouache as it's my favorite medium. And my goal is to try as many gouache brands as I can and make review videos about them. And feel free to turn the notification on so you won't miss out my next review videos. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!